So I'm in front of a concrete wall here in the city of Newburgh today. I don't really like shooting photos here. It's like by the railroad tracks. See if you climb this wall and climbed over that bush and went like 10 feet that way, you'd find railroad tracks. I just shot so many photos in front of this wall years ago that it's kind of played out, but I'm in a hurry today. So here I am. Now what is this bike? It's a Trek. 7200 multi-track hybrid bike and man this bike has been ridden to death I won't say that it's been abused you know I've, I've had bikes that have been abused or even deliberately compromised let's say that but this thing it's just somebody rode the hell out of it probably someone commuting to work or to the train station like look at this seat it's worn through it's kind of gross some fat dude sitting on this, pedaling with his sweaty thighs, rubbing against it in his suit on the way to the train station. Ew, it's nasty. I don't even want to touch it. I guess I already did just touch it. And here's the little cable lock, because he probably leaves this at a train station in a nice town, so he doesn't really have to worry about it, but just needs a little security. The seat post clamp is all askew. It's one of these suspension posts for comfort. He's got his stem adjusted just where he likes it. This shifter, I don't know what the hell that crap is all over it. Schmutz of some sort, bird poop. Looks like it was burned with cigarette lighter or something. The grips are gone, they fall off. It's got grip shifters, this one's totally Totally gone, totally broken. Probably still works though. Yeah, it still works, it just doesn't have its little... Why did they even put this on? This is such a waste. This is so stupid. Just one thing to break or fall off, like on this side. This front tire is worn all the way through. It still holds air, it's, it's, it's low pressure right now, it hasn't been inflated in a while, it still holds air, but worn clear through. The back tire is flat, the tire is in okay shape, but I think the reason it's flat is because the wheel has a couple of broken spokes. Like that spoke by the kickstand is broken and wrapped around the other spokes. So probably one of these spoke nipples went through and popped the tire. Your pie plate is cracked. Everything's greasy and dirty. And look at this. Somebody for some reason decided to take off the crank arm and mess around with the bottom bracket cup. And now it's crooked. And this is a steel cup threaded into an aluminum frame. So good luck with that. Now, I don't know if this bike can be rescued. It's an okay bike, but with that bottom bracket cup the way it is, that might be a fatal problem. And then, then the guy just dumped the bike into his uh, front yard, right there in the dirt and grass. That's just so rude. I'm assuming it was a guy. Might have been a woman, a tall woman. Paint's all scratched up. Greasy, grimy, crank caps are missing. So I guess that's what you get when you ride your bike every single day and you ride it hard and you don't really maintain it. Can't say there's anything wrong with that though. I mean, that's what a bike is for. I find a lot of so-called garage queens that don't necessarily have this sort of disgusting, sweaty wear through on the seat, but that's because they'd never been ridden. So bravo. Bravo to whoever owned this bike and rode it half to death. And you know what? Maybe somebody else will fix that bottom bracket situation and uh, put on a new tire and a couple spokes in the back wheel and this thing will be ready and raring to go for another 
10 years worth of commutes to the train station. Thanks for watching.